and welcome to Geo Snippets. I'm Head Hard Hat. In the next few minutes, you're going to be learning some interesting information and tidbits about the game, the sport, the obsession known as geocaching. In today's episode, we're going to teach you a really inexpensive and quick way to load one of these eTrex Vistas from Garmin by using your computer and an application known as Easy GPS. Now for this tutorial to work correctly, we assume a couple of things. First off, that you have an eTrex Vista GPS unit by Garmin or one of the other eTrex models that Garmin makes. We also assume that you have a geocaching.com membership where you're able to get pocket queries in those .gpx files. Lastly, you're going to need an application on your PC known as Easy GPS. You can get that by going to www.easygps.com. Now that we have all the components together to do this tutorial, let's start off by doing step-by-step -step instructions on how to take waypoints that you may already have on a GPS unit off by deleting them. Then we'll continue on by loading the information that comes from your .gpx file into Easy GPS and go on from there. Let's get started. Okay, for you speed writers out here, this is how you delete your waypoints off your Garmin Vista. First thing you do is click on the left hand side of the Vista, that big bump that brings up your waypoint menu. From there, you select nearest, which will bring up a list of all your different waypoints close to you. Those are what we want to get rid of. Up in the menu, you select delete by symbol which this shows the menu selection here. We're going to delete all the geocache ones that we want. We select geocache and then we answer yes did you really want to delete your geocache symbols. When it's done you're going to see none of the geocache symbols there and you're ready to load them. Next you take your cable that goes from your computer to your GPS unit and you plug it into the back as shown here. Then we go through and we start Easy GPS. Now Easy GPS is free and very easy to use. You go up to the top and you open up a folder that will hold the .gpx file that you got from geocaching.com. After that is clicked, it will load up to 500 waypoints that you're going to want to load into your GPS unit. When you do get uh, the ones the way you want it, you send it to unit and you will see that you have 500 in this case out of a thousand waypoints that you can load onto your Garmin. You click OK and it starts loading the process. Now we're going to speed this up because it takes a few minutes to load but you'll see what it looks like when it wraps up and is able to uh, load your units. When it's done you're going to see uh, your unit say transfer complete as you see here at the bottom and the waypoint units are loaded. And now these are things you should know. Hey folks, Head Hard Hat here. Just want to give you a little tidbit of advice. Always be sure when you're out geocaching to keep extra batteries with you. Why? You don't want to be in an isolated area where you're in the forest, swamp, or any place else that you go geocaching and have one of these guys go dead on you unexpectedly. A little helpful hint from the head hard hat to you. So let's sum up what we learned in today's episode. We learned a quick, inexpensive, and easy way of taking .gpx files from geocaching.com, loading them into an application that's free called EasyGPS, and then transferring that information from that application into a GPS unit, in this case an eTrex Vista by Garmin. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Geo Snippets and come back real soon, where we have even more interesting tidbits and information about the sport, the game, the obsession known as geocaching. This is Head Hard Hat saying we hope to see you out on the trails, folks. Bye bye.